Smarties, it's Miss Feeling here with your math lesson for today. 14-4 um, is all about um, composing 2D shapes, or 2D shapes. So using shapes to put them together to make another shape. Kind of tricky. Um, kind of fun though, because it makes you think and it gets you um, your creative thoughts going. So what you're going to be doing, your I can statement today is, I can put shapes together to make another shape. So maybe you're trying to make a rectangle and you have to use triangles and squares to make that. Or maybe you're trying to make um, a circle by using a different kind of shape. So your solve and share today, show it you here, and it's going to be kind of hard. I'm going to show you how you can do this like in, on a piece of paper or whiteboard. But your solve and share is use, okay, this figure or this shape, okay, trapezoid. This shape, if you turn it this way, it's like a diamond. And a triangle to make a parallelogram, okay? Show three different ways, write how many of each shape you used in the chart. So, you can either pause it and do it like on the screen, or I'm going to show you another way you can do it. So, this is your solvent share using other, using shapes to make that shape. So, on your whiteboard, this is a tricky one to do um, without having paper. If we were in the classroom and we had our pattern blocks, that's what we would use. So, on your whiteboard, you can make that shape. Um, it's pretty much slanted, so the two ends, jeez, <laughs> the two ends are slanted, and then you connect them, okay, so these, your two ends, they're, they're at like a slant, and then you connect the vertices. Okay, so now, once you have it, now you can like draw with your marker or your pencil and it's easier to use. You're going to use a triangle. You're going to use um, a smaller one. Actually, I should just do this. diamond. Okay, if you turn it that way, yeah. makes a diamond. And a trapezoid. Short on the top, the sides go out. Sorry, you can see. Short on the top, the sides go out, and then connect the vertices on the bottom. So these are the three shapes that you're going to play with to try to make this shape. And what I like to do, I, I'm going to kind of show you a hint. What I like to do is I like to say, okay, I'm going to draw a triangle. Well, I already have one side here, and I already have one side here. I just got to draw another side. And look, there's my triangle. Okay. Then, I already, if I were to look at this upside down, so look at my triangle, I already have the bottom. I already have one side down to the, the point. Oh, my goodness. Look. I made another triangle. Here's my three vertices. So I'm using two triangles. Now I have another shape. Okay, I can use this shape right here. It's like a diamond or a small parallelogram. There you go. I used three shapes. I used one of these diamonds and two triangles. Okay, so that's what they want you to do. They want you to use these shapes to see if they can fit down here. Now, if I were to do this again, and you can pause it and try it at any point. You don't have to, or you can just watch me. There we go. I thought I brought out an eraser, but I'll just, I think it's fine. Okay, so now, let's see, a parallelogram. Short on the top, two sides go out. Two sides go out. 
There's my trapezoid. I think I said parallelogram. I meant trapezoid. Okay, kind of a lopsided one. So I used one of these. And look, just by doing that, it already created the other shapes for me. One triangle and one small parallelogram, one of each. Okay, so kind of play around with it. You can, like I said, you can just watch this. You can pause it now and play around with it, see what other um, ways you can make this shape. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to now go into our video over here. And we're going to watch our little robot dude. Oh, there we go. Look at the shapes. How many small red shapes do you see? So how many red shapes do you see? Okay. Where's our little play button? There it is. Two. Yep. Should have said two. How many large yellow shapes do you see? That's a hexagon. Okay, how many? One. One. You can use smaller shapes to make a large shape. You can trace the large shape. Mm. How many sides does the yellow shape have? Let's count. Select your answer. Okay, so if you're listening, let's count though. Let me, where's my pencil? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a hexagon. Six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. The yellow shape has six sides. You can use smaller shapes to cover the Look. tracing. Look at that. They use two trapezoids. How many red shapes do you need to cover the yellow shape? You watch them come in, so the, the two red ones, they split right down the middle. Okay, and you watch them, there's two that came right in to make that shape. How many came in? Two. You need two red shapes. Is there a different way to make this shape? What do you think? Look at it for a second. Is there a different way to make that shape? Could you use triangles? Hmm. Let's look at it. We have our bottom here for the triangle. So all we need to do is do our two sides. <gasps> there are three points. And then that makes one there. And then that makes a triangle there, there, and there. You could use triangles to make a hexagon. Let's see what they say. Yes. Now you know how to use smaller shapes to make a larger shape. Yay! Alright, so again, with our I can statement, okay, using shapes, other shapes, whether that's triangles, squares, diamonds, rectangles, trapezoids, um, using shapes to make a larger shape. So that is what you're going to be doing today. Um, okay. So today, I thought I brought my eraser out here, but it looks like I didn't. I use a tissue. I want you to have fun using shapes. 
okay, to make other shapes. So, take a square. And you can draw it out on paper or your whiteboard. Okay, take a square. What shapes could you use to make a square? Okay, well, I look at it right here and I can go, oh. Okay, I can do two triangles. You turn it this way, there's one triangle, there's your other triangle. Okay, or, so you can use triangles, two triangles to make a square. Or, what shapes, or shape can you do to make a, a circle? Hmm, so you have to think, it has to be a shape, okay, that has a curved side, not a straight side. You can always say, well, you can do two half circles, make a full circle. Or, you can do, you can like split it. This shape right here, it has a, it has a curve, for the outside, and then two straight sides. If you use four of these, okay, oopsies, it makes a circle, okay? So four of this shape, four of these, okay, that shape makes a circle. That's still a shape. It still has straight sides and a curved side, and it's closed, okay? So it is still a shape. Um, so, and, and again, try doing, well, first of all, it's going to be tricky, um, but try making a hexagon. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and see what shapes you can um, find in a hexagon or use to make a hexagon. Something you can do too, if you have a printer at home, you can always Google like hexagon, square, rectangle, triangle, circle, and you can get little cutouts of those of those shapes and you can print them out if you have a printer um, on paper and you can color them like, you know, a hexagon could be yellow, a square could be red, and you can use those shapes to play with and make other shapes. So you can do that if you have them or you can even cut them out of paper. If you have a ruler or a straight edge or book, you can make a square, you can make a rectangle, you can make these shapes, cut them out, okay, cut out maybe more than one, cut out like five of each, so then you can actually like put them together and make other shapes with them. So you can do it that way as well um, if you want to get crafty. But look, this is what I was telling about with the triangle. Okay, triangle that way, triangle there, triangle there, triangle there and a triangle there, lopsided triangles. But you have six triangles that make a trapezoid. Okay, so have fun with it. Like I said, you can get crafty and um, make your own shapes using a straight edge and cut them out and then color them. Or you can get on the computer um, and get your cutouts that way and cut them out and color them. And then you can make sure you have more than one of each. So then you can put them together and make other shapes with them. So get crafty, have fun with it. Um, that is your math lesson for today. I will be back in a little bit with your um, STEM challenge. It's actually, it goes along with our science unit. Um, I told you if you had watched yesterday's video on the moon, I gave you a little sneak peek of it. I said that we were going to make some sort of moon sand. So I'll be back with that in a little bit. Uh, have fun with math, and I hope you're staying warm. Bye for now, Smarties.